problem with the midpoint which is given. Okay, now consider we have a line EB measuring ATM map. That means true length is given as ATM map. And NDA is in the HP and 25 in front of that is I have just given the location of NDA with respect to top view in front view. And also I have given the midpoint M is 40 mm in front of EP and 20 mm above HP. That is the location of the midpoint and one of the ends A is given. I need to do the projections. Okay. So let us start. So draw the XY line. And since the location of NDA as well as midpoint is given, let me get all those locus. NDA is in HP. That means XY line itself is the locus of A dash. Then 25 mm in front of VP. So we just take that. So consider this line, it is 25 mm below XY line to be locus of A. That is a top view point for the NDA. Then the midpoint M is 40 mm in front of VP. That means the top view of the NDM is 40 mm below XY. That is, I will take locus of M. Then it is 20 mm above HP. So let us take this is 20 mm line. Locus of M dash. So this I did that I have just given the line measures 80 mm. That is I put TM. So TM is given as 80 mm. So let us just start because since I have given the midpoint location, the starting point has to be from midpoint only. Ok, now let us start, let me indicate this as M dash, then draw a projector, I will get this to be M. Ok, now I know TL, so now given TL is 80 M, but I know the locus of A dash. So for example, in the previous instance when we did this particular problem on midpoint, I would have given the angle also, but here I have not given the angle. Instead of giving the angle, I have just given the location of one of the ends in top and front view. And also we know that whenever you have given TL and if I want to consider this midpoint problem, I need to do everything with reference to midpoint only so that I am not going to disturb this position of this midpoint with reference to HP as with reference to VP. Now since I know this true length to be AT and also since I know the locus of a in the front view, what I will do is, as usual, I will take half of TL on this side and half of other side. What about the angle? No angle, because anyway, I know the locus of A dash. So that I will take the distance from the compass equal to 40 mm with M dash as center, radius is equal to 40 mm, dry an arc. I will just draw an arc like this. So this is anyway only half of your TL. What about other half? Other half will be the other side. So we just extend this. So we take the same length. So that this will be what point now? So as usual, I told you that this particular line is still TL only. So this is TL. So since this is TL, this anyway it is the locus of A dash. Let me consider there is some point A1 and let me call it as B1. Sorry, it is A1 dash and B1. That is the front. Okay, now anyway, I can just uh, draw this particular line now. So, this will be nothing but locus of B dash. And of course, I can also determine this angle now. So, what is this angle now? This angle nothing but with reference to HP that is theta. Now, since this is TL, in the other view, I will get the Four shorted length that is your end because anyway now I am considering line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. So since it is parallel to VP in the top row, that particular four shorted length has to be parallel to XY and since the line is inclined to HP, it will be the apparent length. Then what do you, how do you calculate, I mean how do you determine this? Just draw the projectors and I can just draw this up to the level of M. Okay, so let me do that. So this will be A1, B1, NP. Now I am just going to repeat the 
procedure what I did earlier. Because anyway, earlier instance I started with front view. Now we will start with top view. So again, what to do, do, do then? Again, with MS center, since I know TL as 80 mm, I will take 40 mm. But anyway, we know the locus of A. Since I know the locus of A, I will take half this side, I will take half on the other side. Is it okay? So, and also remember, you need, I mean, there is no heart you should take like this. I can also take in this way also, I can take. So, I mean, uh, inclination, either you lean towards right or left, it hardly matters as far as the so the final solution is concerned. Okay. Let us say we will consider like this one. Okay. So, I will take again 40. I know this is 40. So, let us say it will come somewhere here. And I will extend this on the other side also. Okay. Now, since this is TL, I will consider this is anyway locus of A na. So, let us consider this point to be some point A2. So, this, this is A2 and on the other side I will get B2. Okay. And then, since the position is fixed, I can just indicate this to be the locus of B. Okay. Again, this is TL now. I told you this is TL now. Now, then this is TL. That is, the line is inclined to VP. So, this angle is what angle there? This angle should be 5. Now, the line is inclined to VP but parallel to HP. So, that I can find the true length in the, I mean I can find the uh, four shortened length in the front view. Then what I do then? I will draw the projectors through this. So this is LFD. Not only that, this is B2, then this has to be B2 dash. This is A2, this has to be A2 dash. Then, as you can see, in the second stage, we are able to determine this locus as well as we are able to determine this LFV. Now, as I was telling you earlier also, we know LTV, LFV. We also know the locus of A dash, B dash and locus of AB so that I can just complete the problem. So, how do you complete the problem now? Now we know that since I know LFV, LFV should be between A dash and B dash. Not only that, your top view should be between A and B, A and B such that they are projected. That is A, A dash, B, B dash should be on the same projector. But one thing we should be careful is since I have rotated the line with reference to M, even this LFV also has to be rotated with half of LFV on one side and other half on the other side. Okay, so let me do that. Let us say we start from front view. But anyway, already we have, we have this locus of A dash. So directly we will get this A dash is here itself. Is it not? Okay, now rotate the line. So with LFV as center, A2 dash as radius, dry and arc on this side. So that this will be B dash. Then the other half, anyway, locus of B dash is above this midpoint now. So I will take this half and rotate on the other side. Other half of the other feet. And if we have done the problem right, then I know that if I join A dash and B dash, it has to pass through this midpoint. Okay. Now A dash is here. Then. So what about your corresponding A in the top view? But anyway, this is my final front view. The final top view, I can simply draw the projectors through the corresponding points A dash and B dash. Okay, simply draw that. So we have A dash here. I will draw the projector so that this point will be now A. Then I will draw a projector through this so that this will be B. And if I join these two, it has to pass through this midpoint. Now we can see this is the final top view, this is the final front. Remember, midpoint location has not been disturbed. So that is the reason we need to rotate the line along with M. Is it okay? Thank you.